this video will teach you how to save Flash in your TouchGFX application. The demo showcase here saves over 90% Flash while keeping an attractive UI and good performances. It is made possible by four features that will be shown today. Let's go! Hello and welcome to this How to Touch GFX video. This content is intended for users who want to optimize their project and already know the basics of TouchGFX. Indeed, we'll see features such as L8 color formatting, image compression, SVG images, and finally, vector fonts. Without those features, the showcase demo would take over 10 megabytes, but we are able to lower it to around 800 kilobytes, a massive difference in embedded projects. The first flash saving concept is L8 color formatting. First, we will see how it works, and then we will use it inside Designer. L8 color formatting is one of the simplest concepts to use. It is also applicable to most projects. This formatting uses a lookup table of 256 colors. It means that each pixel refers to value in that color lookup table that is stored in 8 bits, instead of storing a color code encoded in 32 bits. This can lead to a flash saving of over 70% for each image. It is very easy to use L8 in TouchGFX. At the top menu, we're going to add a widget, an image widget, and then we can add a file to that widget by selecting stocks. We're going to look for the logo section and select a TouchGFX logo. Now we can just go to the left on the image settings. And here we can see all of the images in the project. Currently, we only have one image, that's the one we just added. And what is interesting is the different options that we have for each image, such as the image format. We can see that there is six different formats. Three are in L8 and three are not. The L8 formats are AGB565, uh, 888, and ARGB. Since our image has transparency, we're going to use ARGB. And that is all you have to do. Now you can just go and generate code, and TouchGFX will take care of creating the lookup table. Keep in mind that L8 has some restrictions. First, the lookup table must be stored in the internal memory. Also, L8 has a maximum of 256 colors, which makes it not suitable for images with gradients or fades. Now you know when to use L8 and are ready to save over 70% memory on all of your images. The second flash saving concept in TouchGFX is image compression. First, we'll see the different image compression algorithms, and then we'll see how to use them inside Designer. Image compression can only be done on images using L8 formats. TouchGFX uses three compression algorithms. L4, LE, and LZW. L4 is a smaller version of L8 that can store 16 colors. LE look for repetition of pixels in a row and can only be done on images with maximum 64 colors. Finally, LZW look for patterns in an image. Here you can see the different flash saving for each algorithm. In that case, LE is the best, but it is not always the case. It is recommended to keep the selection in auto to let TouchGFX choose the appropriate compression. Let's see how to use image compression in Designer. Here we have our previous image that is already using the L8 image format. So we can select a compression algorithm. We see the three that we talked about, L4, LE, and LZW, but we also see Auto. Auto allows us to let TouchGFX decide which compression algorithm is the best. It is recommended to use it so let's just do that. Here, we could generate code and it will work perfectly. But instead, I want to show you something else. I mentioned that RLE can only be used on images with a maximum of 64 colors. This image, however, uses more than 64 colors. So we'll generate and see that we get an error. The error states that we use more than 64 colors. Here, the only algorithm that will work is LZW but we could also let it to auto. Keep in mind that image compression cannot be used for widgets that could rotate or scale. On other cases, it is greatly beneficial. 
and it is recommended to keep the algorithm choice up to touch the FX because each algorithm will have different performances based on the image. Now, when you need to use a widget that could rotate or scale, you can still save Flash. This is done by using an SVG. First, we're gonna see how it works and then how to use it in Designer. Scalable vector graphics or SVGs are images using mathematical formulas to represent shapes. They are therefore very easy to scale and rotate. They are great to use when you need the same image multiple times but in different sizes or orientations. As you can see here, thanks to its code-like structure, SVG are great at representing shapes. It makes them perfectly suited for logos and icons. Using an SVG image in TouchFX Designer is very easy. All you have to do is to go at the top on the widget bar, select Image Widget, and at the bottom you can see SVG Image. Now you have created your SVG widget. You can change the SVG file. Here it is pre-selected to a logo of TouchFX, but you can change it for any SVG that you imported yourself. The SVG widget makes it very easy to use those flash efficient assets in Designer. Keep in mind that they need a lot of computing power, especially when moving them, scaling them, or rotating them during runtime. However, they are the best solution when you need to display logos and icons multiple times across your project. The final flash saving concept in TouchGFX is vector font which follows the same principle as SVG, but for fonts. Vector fonts use the same principle as SVG to store information. It makes it very suited when using multiple sizes for the same font or when using big sizes. Here you can see the example of the letter G in Verlana in three different sizes. With regular bitmap, it takes 788 bytes. However, with vector fonts, it only takes 170 bytes. Let's see how to use vector font inside Designer. We're going to start by adding a text area. We can see that the, this text area already has typography selected. It is uh, Verdana in large. On the left, we can click on text to see the different text and text again to see the one text area that we created, including its typography. Let's go to all the typographies. Here we see all the typographies inside our project. Here we have Verdana in three different styles, small, default, and large. We have selected large for our text area. We can see that there is two types, bitmap and vector. By default, it is bitmap that is selected. However, we can change that by clicking on vector. In the case we want to set all of our fonts in vector, we will have to manually change them to vector to take full benefit of the vector font. To summarize, vector fonts are very easy to use in TouchGFX. They turn your font into vector to save flash. You should use them when you use big fonts or fonts in various sizes. However, they share the same issue as SVG, so you should avoid moving them, scaling them, or rotating them during runtime. By implementing the four concepts demonstrated, it is possible to save a substantial amount of flash. That is the case of the demo showcased. Indeed, we are able to save about 95% of flash. Here, you can see a summary table of those concepts. First, L8 formatting, which can be used for images having up to 256 colors. Compressed images, which is great as long as you don't want to scale or rotate the widget. SVG, which is easy to use but requires a lot of computing power. And finally, vector font that is great when using various font sizes or big font sizes. Now you are ready to save Flash in your own project. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.